Hey guys, Dr. Nix here, and I'm sorry about the shakiness. I'm having a bit of a camera dealio, so I'm holding this little webcam. It took me a while to get the microphone set up, but you know, today this video is going to be about the Xbox 360. I know that Xbox 360 isn't really that relevant nowadays. I mean, it's still kind of the gaming console of choice. Even with the Xbox One, all your Xbox 360 games, well, most of them, are playable on the Xbox One and all that other, I'll be honest. So, I recently got my Xbox 360 handy down, and in case you're wondering, yeah, it's that one, and you can sell the junk on my dresser. Yeah, I have the Xbox 360 Arcade, and I know they're they tend to shut down a lot, but let's see how this one goes. I had it for about a couple of days now, and it's been working fine. The problem is I have controllers, and they don't connect. So hopefully in the future, some in the future, I'm going to get a wired controller. Probably an official Microsoft one. Fingers crossed. And I can play with that. But at the moment, we're going to turn this on. And the reason behind this video is to use your Xbox without the controller. So, my TV's probably not turned up. So, yeah, I've been using my Xbox, and the problem is I don't have a controller. And, you know, you can't really use an Xbox without a controller, but, you know, I've been trying to manage, so... First off, I'm on the sign screen, and you can't really do anything here without the controller. So, I happen to have a USB keyboard lying around, and by lying around, I meant it's been under my bed. And I'm going to pull this up. And here is my official, my official Microsoft license media keyboard and we had this thing since ever and I'm surprised that it still works because the cord is like getting there but you know what I'm going to do is I don't really use this so all I'm going to do is just press enter so I can sign in I hit the other enter button ah I'm trying to reach eh thumb thumb help me out alright I'm signed in and I can put this keyboard down. And since I'm connected to the internet, since I apparently have to use a repeater, or, you know, just connect my modem, I mean, not my modem, my router up, running a custom firmware, and let it connect to my other router, because this one's not wireless, um, and now have access to Xbox Live. And with that, you probably, you guys already know this, but I can use um, smart glass on my phone, or I can use my tablet that's over here. But um, yeah, backing up um, a video right now is taking forever. You know, I can just go to my apps, go to the last page, and go to smart glass. And it takes while to sign in. Yes, it does. Of a hassle, I just drop my keyboard on the floor by tripping over the cord. It doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm just gonna let it sign in. And yes, it takes a while. The info signed in, and then it shouldn't leave a notification on the screen saying I'm signed in via Smart Glass. Any second now. Any second now. I just had to tap it by myself. Anyway, so Smart Glass is connected, and this says I'm on the Xbox dashboard. If you click that, it'll say, Where the heck are you still on the dashboard? Go go do something productive with your life. Anyway, so I'm managing so far, I and mean, I can use the remote feature function, you know, um, go to Bing, come. Social, apparently, knows online. Um, games, 
the song used in TV, music, apps, and settings. Oh, good. WWE. Um, what was I going to do? Yeah. But it's kind of tedious using the smart glass because, you know, I can't really. I mean, like, I don't have that many games for Xbox. Like, I have a few digital because I bought one and then the rest came over through Xbox Gold. And I hate it because, like, I got this game, Sonic & Knuckles, I already played most of it, and I only need, like, a few achievements left. But, like, I can start it, but my problem is, I get to the game, and I can't even get past the title screen. Sonic & Knuckles is a Sonic Vintage Collection for a start. Nothing works, so all I can do is just open up the guide and go back home. You know, it sucks. So the guide's back, I mean, not guide, dash, I'm back on the dashboard. Uh, main things I can probably do is, you know, like entertainment and movies and stuff. So probably I just want to say, I want to listen to Paramore, so I'm going to type in Paramore. So I, because I type in Paramore, and, oh, well, probably not that Paramore. I'm going to go with this Paramore, their latest album. And what I can do, I can, you know, just click play on Xbox. And if you have a Gold membership, this works best. Because you know, I have my membership, I have it for about four months, and I'm going to lose it in probably like next week. And I'm going to be so sad when it happens. But anyway, so I'm playing and have controls on my phone, I can skip tracks. And I can also just navigate by swiping on the screen. No all that nonsense. And I can just tap back and I can see how the playback is going and all that. It nice to get it on the Xbox Smart Glass home screen. Pretty neat, right? Well, you guys are already know, that's why I'm going to go back to my remote. So launch, guide, and go back home. Because I don't want to get copyrighted. And they're really, they're pretty fast with the copyright. Anyway, um, back on the dashboard. Um, Smart Glass can also control movies and videos. However, it does not work that well on Netflix or YouTube, and I hate that. So, I have, I can open up Microsoft Movies and TV. And I'm losing kind of focus, because I'm using one hand, controlling the camera, and the other one's using my phone. <sighs> it's terrible. So, I'm going to wait for Movies and TV to start. And I don't really have any money for videos. But I can just go over to my video, so I'm going to wait for an update, that's pretty fast. I can go to my TV shows, yes I have Clarence and TV Universe, there are free episodes. Um, I can go to like stuff like This Week on Windows. I can just um, go to like the latest episode, which is this one. Let's go with 13, because I haven't watched that one yet. Apparently. Uh, I can go to Play. Or, da or download it whenever, which one I ever choose. Not like I'm going to be offline anytime soon. So I'm going to wait for it to play. My playback controls already came up. And this week on Windows is playing. I can go back. I can. I got um, the little playback indicator telling me that it's playing. I can't really seek though. Or whatever. There's some smart glass application for it, but you know, that's not for that. Um, I feel like I'm new at this. I mean, honestly, there's not really that much to show you guys because you guys probably use smart glass your entire life, you know, since it came out. And I'm just like, yeah, but you know, you know, the, you know, the um, stuff that goes on. You know, you can search your games, look for videos, music, and I believe some apps use Smart Glass. Mostly, 
Like Internet Explorer uses it, and I lost connection to Smart Glass. I hate when that happens. You know, I'm like Twitch, Internet Explorer. Um, and manage your settings. I would probably say if you don't have a controller and you're like way more used to like if you don't have a controller that like can connect I would probably say if you don't want to feel like using the smart glass all the time get a connect like buy a bunch of games that use connect don't, I would probably say just connect not better with connect but connect you know like buy those games plug in the sensor and, you know, just use the connect just to manage around. You still have to get up and um, turn the thing on instead of using your controller. And you can probably just use the connect to sign in using connect ID or whatever it's called. And you know, you, you'll probably be fine, but you know, I don't have a connect right now. Like, I don't have the sensor connected. I might get one since they're not that expensive nowadays. But you know that's you know that's xbox life and i'm somewhat managing getting used to it now because this is actually the first well actually ha i have another console that broke down but this is you know my kind of like my first time actually having an uh, xbox used by myself but with that um if you guys want to you can add me on xbox live i I don't really have a lot of games, or actually any games that use Xbox Live at the moment. I do play um, Minecraft Windows 10 Edition, so if you want to, you can add my gamer tag. Don't send me crazy invites, because I will deny them like that. Anyway, that's the end of this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, or share. And I will see you guys all later. Bye.